Nobody knows exactly what went wrong with the Note 7 phones, including Samsung itself. The company first attributed the problem to faulty batteries, but the issue persisted even after switching battery supplier. Tech experts have speculated that the cause may be that the batteries have been crammed in too tightly, triggering short circuits. Another theory blames the design of the device, claiming it puts too much pressure on the battery. The Note 7 has a larger battery with higher energy density than other Samsung phones. The overheating problem is not confined to Note 7 phones. Companies like Dell and Toshiba were forced to recall millions of laptops in 2006 due to overheating battery packs made by Sony. Boeing had to ground its 787 Dreamliners in 2013 due to lithium-ion battery problems. More recently, about half a million hoverboards were recalled earlier this year after reports of overheating, sparks and fire. The Korean group shares plunged 8% on Tuesday after it suspended all sales of the Note 7, its flagship device. But the bigger blow for the electronics giant, which had steered a strong turnaround in mobile earnings in the first half, is reputational. Waning consumer confidence means it has lost much of that sales momentum, and fear is that that will ripple out to the company's other consumer products. That would leave Samsung with a tougher job in battling it out in the smartphone market, just as rival devices from Apple and Google hit the shops.